On today's video, we're going to go over some slip bobber tips and tricks. Hey there outdoor YouTubers. Well, like I said earlier, today's video is about a few slip bobber tips and tricks. Now, this video is kind of designed for fisher people that do have some slip bobber experience. But even if you don't have any slip bobber experience, that's okay. This video is still gonna help you out. And I also have done several other videos that start right at the beginning, right at the basics of slip bobber fishing. So if you are new to slip bobber fishing, I will leave a link below in the description of this video that'll bring you to all those other slip bobber videos. You can check them out if you want. So back to the tips and tricks of this video. Tip number one, I highly recommend always using a grommeted tip or some kind of reinforced tip slip bobber. And what I'm talking about here is just some kind of a metal tip or top to the bobber or maybe even a very hard plastic tip or top to the bobber. Some slip bobbers just kind of have a soft plastic tip or top to them and braided line and even monofilament line will actually wear a groove in those softer tipped or topped slip bobbers. And of course, once you get a groove in the tip of that slip bobber, your line can get hung up in there and then the whole works just is not gonna work right. Tip number two is maybe even more of a trick. All right, now for those of you that like to use the plastic bobber stops when you're slip bobber fishing, you know those plastic bobber stops that have the holes in them, two, three, sometimes four hole bobber stops. Well, sometimes it can be a little difficult to thread your line into the small holes of those bobber stops, especially if you're of a certain age like me and your eyes are kind of going, it can be a little hard to thread those in there. Well, it makes it even more hard to thread those in there if the tip of your line, say if you're using monofilament, it's a little smushed where you cut it, or if you're using braid, maybe it's a little frayed, it's hard to get that through those small holes. So what I recommend doing is, like with monofilament, or fluorocarbon, go ahead and cut the end of your line off with your clippers or a blade at a 45 degree angle. And that'll give the tip of your monofilament kind of a point to it, and that makes it a lot easier to thread it into those bobber stops. And even with your braid, braid sometimes kind of frays a little bit at the end if it's not cut with a good clean cut. So I like to take a good sharp blade cut across that braid at like a 45 degree angle also, and then maybe even wet it with your lips a little bit and give that braid a good sharp point. And that's gonna really help you when you thread it through that plastic bobber stop. Now, before we go any further, I'd like to take a quick time out with a word from my one and only sponsor, Camaro's Crawlers. Hey guys, has this ever happened to you? You're out in the backwoods, like I am today. You're fishing your favorite trout stream, and you're catching so many fish that you run out of bait. Well, that's not what happened to me today. I actually forgot to bring bait. But luckily for me, Camaro's Crawlers is now offering Bait Dash services. Bait Dash is just like DoorDash is to restaurants. But instead of bringing you food, my buddy Ronnie Camaro will deliver you all the fishing products that he has at his bait shop. Now, you guys know Ronnie Camaro, right? He only drives Camaros. He's got a summer Camaro. He's got a winter Camaro. But Ronnie does make an exception to the Camaro rule when he needs to get out into the backwoods. So luckily for us, Ronnie Camaro's got a souped up off-road motorcycle so he can get those fishing products to us even if we're off the beaten path. Because even Ronnie's Camaros can't get back to where I am today. All I had to do was call Camaros Crawlers 
and place the bait dash order for two dozen crawlers with Ronnie's pro staffer mom. Because as you guys might know, Camaro's crawlers is actually in the basement of Ronnie's parents' house where he lives. So quite often, Ronnie's pro staffer mom will actually answer the phone. So Ronnie's pro staffer mom assured me that Ronnie would get those two dozen crawlers to me within 15 minutes. I think I hear him coming right now. Ronnie! Hey buddy, you got the crawler? All right. Awesome. Keep the change, huh? All right. I'll tell you what, Ronnie Camaro's bait dash service really came through for me today. So if you're out on the water and you forgot your hooks or you ran out of worms, be sure to call Camaro's Crawlers and give bait dash a try. Also, if you're looking to get your Michigan fishing license, be sure to stop by Camaro's Crawlers and Ronnie's pro staffer mom will direct you to a store that sells fishing licenses. For all your fishing needs, Camaro's Crawlers has you covered. All right, that's super awesome. All that fun stuff that Ronnie has going on down at the bait shop. And then tip number three, always use a little bit bigger slip bobber, okay? I don't like using these little small ones, all right? I like to use kind of these medium to large size slip bobbers. And what that does for you is it allows you to add quite a bit of weight to your line, right? You get to add quite a few more split shots to your line as opposed to if you're using this little small slip bobber. All right, so what does that do for you? First of all, you're gonna get more casting distance. The whole rig is weighted more, you're gonna be able to cast it further. But I know some of you guys are saying, well, I fish for kind of finicky fish, you know, I don't wanna use a big bobber. Well, in any kind of bobber fishing, you wanna match the weight of your rig to the buoyancy of the bobber, right? So if you are fishing for finicky fish, you can add enough weight so it really doesn't take a whole lot of pressure to pull this bobber down. So that really shouldn't be an issue if you match the weight of your rig to the buoyancy of your bobber. But what that extra weight also does is it pulls the line through your slip bobber a lot more effectively. If you have very little weight on the rig of your slip bobber, it may have a little bit of trouble pulling the line through the slip bobber itself. So you want to have a good amount of weight that's going to effectively pull that line through the slip bobber, get that bait down to the depth that you set it at, and get fishing. All right, guys. Well, there's just a few quick tips that maybe will help you out with your slip bobber fishing. I hope some of this stuff maybe helps you put a few more fish in the boat. And also, guys, if you want to check out a lot more useful fishing information, or you just want to check out some of the fishing adventures that my crew and I go on, be sure to give the entire channel a visit. And also remember to hunt fish, laugh, repeat. Thanks for watching and God bless.